the best part of the cake. Which part of that? The part that make it nice. The rum. The rum. Yeah, let me go for that. <laughs> getting ready well first right now I'm looking for a bag because I'm going to the supermarket you guys are gonna meet my friend Ashley and we are going to get all the ingredients that we need to make a traditional black cake which is something that is well known all throughout the Caribbean now the cool thing to highlight is that Ashley is actually from Jamaica but she's a Yadi in St. Croix so we're from Jamaica they call them Yadis I can't tell you why exactly. Maybe she could tell us when we do the video. We're going to go and buy the ingredients. Me and she go make it. But part of the process is that the fruits them have to soak for three days minimum because it's boozy. Liddy, remember I showed you guys that guava berry rum earlier, so that is going to be a part of the process of the black cake. We're about to head into Plaza East because there's a Plaza East and a Plaza West. We seem to just be a Plaza East, interesting enough. But that's that's Island Melee. You don't need to know about that. And um, anyway, yeah, so we're about to go inside. All right, ready? This is Plaza, people. Coming on it. I don't know where Ashley is. She hasn't told me. And that's her calling. Trying to um, record the conversation. Why Ashley went to the wrong grocery store? Hold on. She went to the wrong grocery store. Oh, but in the meantime, I could pick up some stuff that I need, like my Christmas hat that I've been, that for whatever reason I just didn't engage. So Christmas hat, this Christmas lights and all the Christmas gear, but I'm gonna get a hat. I wonder if my mom will want one. I'm gonna buy one for she too. Yeah. So Christmas, and you're probably wondering why you don't go on for your father. My father don't like those things, so he would never wear the hat. So we're not going even better waste our money. In case you wanted organic strawberries here, they're ten ninety nine. But organic cranberries are four ninety nine. That's good. I'm not sure how much the blackberries are. Either way, that I rather just get the pesticides in my system. <laughs> Whatever I take on, clean it out. I just that's what I'm gonna do. Cause for ten ninety nine. <laughs> My eyes should tell it out to you. So one of the items we're getting is the browning sauce. You might be thinking that's weird to get for cake, but I promise you, it's all going to come together. It all makes sense. How when I make it, when me make it, and I eat it, and you see my face, how my eyes then glaze over, and then I'm gonna be drunk after it, out a while after that, you will understand the purpose of these things. We also have to get maraschino cherries, and we're gonna get these. They're three ninety nine. So we're going in here, and we're waiting on Ashley because she went to the wrong grocery store. And I tell her I'm in aisle three, which I am. Aisle three. Here we are. It'd be really cool if she just came walking up behind me, but I don't have that kind of look. So I'm gonna film she when she coming up the aisle in the shame because she went to the wrong grocery store on the other side. You know how she reached it was so fast to be honest. Look who it is. Look who it is, people. Hi. <laughs> Looking extremely Hi. stylish. Very well. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Tell the people who you are. Hi, I'm Ashley. The late one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just me not reading properly. Anyway, she I'm didn't read my text. <laughs> yeah, um, I just clipped it. That's okay. It took me five minutes to get here. From it really Seaside, did, though. though. <laughs> I just said I don't know how you reach here so fast. <laughs> this is Ashley, and she is a fantastic baker. Like I told you guys, she's originally from Jamaica. She's a Yadi in St. Croix. So tell us what are we in here doing today? So today we're um, shopping for things to make um, black cake, as you call it here in the Virgin Islands. What do you call it in Jamaica? Rum cake or fruit cake. Fruit cake, more than likely. We don't call it the hand. Yeah, because it's full of fruit. <laughs> fruit That's cake. true. That makes sense, right? <laughs> Very simple. I get the black cake thing too, because it's really, really dark. It really so. is dark, yes. Yeah, and, it, and that's because what we call rum cake is our Crucian rum cake. Yeah. yeah. Which that's is a yellow cake, cake base. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that. Okay. okay. Let's go. So I picked up the browning sauce. Mm -hmm. Is this a good one? Um... I want a thicker one. This one is kind of. This gonna okay. Yeah. So they're back there. Yeah. 
And then I picked up these maraschino cherries. I didn't know if this was I mean, big enough yeah, or if it needs to be a smaller. I like to choose like the Caribbean ones because they tend to be thicker than those. Than those. Okay, got you. So you're going to go here to make people? That's fine. That's all right. Because Christian people don't make one. So we're going to go with that. This is what we're going to do. So we're going to put this back. Yeah. And we're going to go with the Jamaica and the browning caramel, which is a different type of browning that we do. This is Ashley's list, people. This Look. is my lovely handwriting. I mean, when she sent it to me this morning, I was like, what is that third one? And what is? I was like, what is that? White girl, you know. I thought I had no idea what it meant, <laughs> but this is a list. I so. cook better than I write, so that's okay. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> um, mixture, okay. Um, it's in syrup, um, so we're not. We can use some of the syrup, but we're not going to use all of it because the cake. We don't want it to be um, too wet. Wet. Okay, you know, got you. It's a dense cake, so okay. The prunes. I see the one straight ahead, but I don't know. But we need like a thing of prunes, right? Yeah, maybe like a pack like, like a pack like that. Okay. This is again the challenge with shopping in general in the island. It's just like you have to do things early enough because they run out. So right now, there aren't any prunes that we're seeing in a like, uh, big packet. So I'll have to go to another store to get them, which is fine. But we're picking up raisins right now. So sometimes the items are in different places throughout the store. It just depends. We picked up some oranges and we're using the rind for that to get that flavor, the zest. To add that into the black cake so they're three for two dollars we're going with that you asked whether the three for a dollar 99 was a good, a good price. price and then we have these four in the pack which is a navel orange for 7.49 seven what? 7.49 that's crazy for four yeah, orange must be special special oranges ashley is the chef slash baker she she going for all the things she knows to pick the best ones the best things that's what I'm <laughs> so just get a tree. <laughs> so three lions are 99 cents, or you can get one for 49. So just use a lime. We're gonna make drinks. Yeah. Lime is. Back home we call it sugar water. So the boy tell me that it in aisle four and thirteen. We tell you prune or no? Prunes. The fruit to eat. One over here and send me? Prune juice. <laughs> I don't need prune juice. If I want the prune juice, I know to go to the juice aisle. Yeah. Just can't find good help nowadays. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> he just, he probably just didn't hear us correctly. Look, Ashley thought I said seaside. <laughs> I said he thought I said seaside. <laughs> we got the flour. We're going to get the bag of the Florida cane sugar. There's no smaller bag than that. <laughs> so we go, we all just blend with it. That's fine. I guess you can make some sugar cookies. Yeah, you just, you the baker, you will use the cookies. <laughs> I, not, I mean, you'll use the sugar, I don't worry about that. Nothing will go to waste. Everything will get used, I promise. Many of the things that we're using on the, in the recipe, you know, you kind of already have it at home. But it's just really the things that I don't have a lot of, like old allspice. I almost say old spice. Allspice. Mm -mm, I have cinnamon. Yeah, I have plenty of cinnamon. I made a mistake I added to one thing. <laughs> so we are now looking for allspice. I have the allspice that, and then the only other size they have is the big one. <laughs> so there's no in between. There's no in between here. See? It's either big I don't as think your I head. Need this. No. I need two teaspoons. Or you need a smaller one it's either really tiny or really big so the only allspice that they have is a whole one and we need it brown the best part of the cake which part of that part i'm making nice the rub, the rub. yeah <laughs> let me go for that <laughs> we are now looking for a specific red wine 
to use in it. Um, Ashley said that it is, it really gives a good flavor to the cake. Um, there's something called red label wine that she was talking about, that, but we don't sell that here. So we're trying to find something that's similar. That's how strong La the cake will be. <laughs> Muy fuerte means strong. Yeah. That's why the guy looks like that on the bottom. Yeah. All right. So, and it is good price. Good price. Yeah. You all need too much to get drunk on St. Croix. Promise you, we do that extremely well on a cheap. It's actually more expensive to drink orange juice than it is to drink rum. Yes. <laughs> like it's orange so juice true. would be $9.99 for a half a gallon and a bottle of rum is $7.99. We're doing all the items. So what do we need to get from quality? Uh, we need to get the currants, currants the prunes, prunes and butter. And butter. Yeah. But butter is cheaper quality than it is here. We're all about maximizing our dollars, folks, because we need to save all our money for the holiday shopping. That's important. So what is our, these are gonna be separate. So our damage is $43.97. We have purchased the majority of the items. And because we're doing this on a shorter time frame, typically you let the fruit soak for how long? Um, from last year, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that time, no more. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil the fruits in the, in the rum, rum and the wine. Yeah. In the rum and the wine, so that way it could get infused a lot faster, yeah. and it's gonna be strong. Yeah, definitely. Strong. And then after the cake, we're gonna we'll pour more rum on it. So when we do the video eating the cake, we're gonna be drunk. Yeah. So just telling you that from now, don't judge us. <laughs> we don't need you judging us. If you're watching and you're judging, then stop watching. Yeah, I from agree. now. But you want to know how to make this cake, so you want to stay tuning in. And watching the video. And watching the video. We're going to tell Ashley bye. bye. She has another engagement. She yeah. off to dinner. I didn't just get dressed up to go shopping. <laughs> I thought it was for me. <laughs> it wasn't. I told her people don't have no place to go no more. So if you got dressed up for the supermarket, I wouldn't judge you. That's fine. All right, Ashley. See you okay. later. Bye. Later, bye. All right, guys. We're out. See you in a bit. I used to work for a healthy living company, and I discovered these while I worked there. They're so freaking good. But I'd get upset the fact that I have to pay $2.29 for, like, one ounce of olives. I don't even really like olives, but these I like because they are flavored. This one has lemon and rosemary in it. And I really like it. And that's what I'm... I really am not a dinner person. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys before. I'm not a big dinner person. If I'm going out to dinner, sure. But when I'm home, for whatever reason, I don't be hungry. So dinner time for me typically is a protein shake or a smoothie. Or I'll munch on hummus or plantain chips. Something really small. But then I wake up famished. I got to figure it out. My life is crazy. My life is a mess. But I'm about to go eat these olives though. They're so good. I'm going to literally count how much olives I need. Until I know how much I don't have. But I'm gonna rosemary. I feel like these are the only olives I could eat. The other one I have is um, basil and garlic. The price is over it. But it's basil and garlic. That one really good too. Alright, I eat three of them so far. Let me see. Tottine. It had tottine olives in the packet. Thirteen, you know. Thirteen, thirteen. So without my dialect, thirteen olives. Thirteen. We just say tree for the number three. Um, other parts of our we just say morning instead of good morning. We just pluralize things by adding them to the end of it. So we rarely well we just say cars, but it's usually the car them, the people them, the man them, the woman them. The children them. But it's kind of weird because children is plural. But you don't say the child them. You don't say the children. But you don't say children. It's children. I know. This is why being from the Caribbean, being West Indian is, is pure vibes, you know. Pure vibes to be West Indian. Me need nobody else to come with me no place, you know. I just vibes by myself. I realized I forgot to tell Ayo. Or something to share with you. Bringing things to people's house in the Caribbean is even more prevalent during the holidays. There's no week that goes by throughout the year normally where I don't go outside and 
there's a bag and hanging on the gate with avocado or carambola or mango or something. Somebody, friend, cousin, my father, friend from the beach, somebody come come and drop off something, coconut, dukana, cassava, all kind of thing, breadfruit. Today's delivery was very special. My aunt, she's not really my aunt, but I've known her so long and she's like an aunt to me. She bring coquito. I tell her, coquito is a thing. Everybody drinking coquito, everybody making it. Eggnog who? We don't, we don't drink eggnog. I mean, they have people to drink it, but eggnog is not the business. Come, come Thanksgiving Day, we drinking coquito. If I go to your house for Thanksgiving and you get a coquito, I have questions. So I have to cuss my aunt the day because I was like, what, what's going on? Why, you don't have, why don't you have, why do you not have coquito? What is the problem? She had some eggnog stashed underneath her, her sink, like somebody wanted to drink that. Anyhow. I had coquito just a while ago. I know I just don't tell her that I can't eat dinner, <laughs> but I could drink though. So I had some coquito. It was good. It was good. It was good. I'm gonna drink some more. Come watch. This is what I stole out of my parents' fridge. Don't tell them I do it. So I have kank with beans, white rice, and veggies, and a little bit of stuffing. I'm gonna be teaching her how to make stuffing, by the way. Because that is. That is authentic Virgin Islands treat. And it's not stuffing what you know as, as cornbread stuffing or whatever it is people in America that eat. No. It's potato stuffing. And I go show you why you won't want to eat regular stuffing after you had this. Imagine my first Thanksgiving. People go, oh, my God, would you like some stuffing? Sure. I went. I said, wait. That could be a lot of things, but I ain't stuffing. She's like, oh no, it's cornbread stuffing. It's something that we make here and you eat it with the turkey. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, not that. No, I don't want it. You could keep it. I had to talk, you know. I'm eating this food with a spoon. I'm gonna, why would you eat it with a spoon? You have rice and kanka and all these things. Why would you use a spoon? I don't like dotty in dishes. The spoon, the spoon, the walk. It gonna get the food from the plate into my mouth, into my stomach. Why would I dirty a fuck? Just because I shouldn't eat it with a spoon. Let me show you how it gonna work. I don't like dirty dishes. My mother, she would dirty all the dishes. All of them. If she had to take out beans, can't and rice, and use three different spoons. Miss, who are washing the dishes? Me, me and me the one. Even though I live in the apartment downstairs, she might still ask me to wash the shoes. She's lucky she's my mother. We're using the spoon.